Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question six from the May 2016 PUA paper two. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so it starts off very simply, list three essential features or principles of a cooperative. You know me, I like to give a little more than three. So we have continuous education, cooperation among cooperatives, democratic control and open membership. So you can take any three of those. If you have any more, please feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll pin the best list. So let's take a look at the next part of the question. Okay, so it reads that Delca High School had 1,650 students who were all members of the Delca High School Cooperative. Each student member purchased 10 shares at a cost of $10 per share. So if you're buying 10 shares at 10 each, you're spending $100. And if you multiply 100 by 1,650, you're going to end up with 165,000. So that's the opening capital. So on 31st December 2015, the following data was extracted from the books of the cooperative. So we have cash in hand and a bank. Okay, that's an asset. Accounts payable, it's a liability. Investments in other cooperatives, that's an asset. Non-current assets at cost, well, asset. Ah, statutory reserve fund at the start of the year, that's a reserve. Education fund at the start of the year, another reserve. Undistributed surplus, that's their version of retained earnings. And surplus made for the year 21,000. So that's their profit. So they don't call it profit, they call it surplus. So additional information at 31st December 2015. So inventory of unsold goods was valid at 800. Uh, general expenses of 554 unpaid, that's an accrual. Interest due on investments total 7,524. So that sounds like a receivable, so that's an asset. <clears throat> so it says the board of Management decided to transfer um, from the surplus made for the year to reserves as follows. So from the, the surplus made for the year, we're transferring 20% of the statutory res reserve fund and 10% of the education fund. And then dividends uh, were, were to be paid to member shares, or member shares, sorry, at a rate of 5% of their investment. So we have a few things to do here, and they want us to first do the appropriation account. So let's get that going. So we're going to start off with the surplus for the year of 21,000 and now usually I used to add my undistributed surplus brought forward but I've since again spoken to other teachers and students who say that we should probably leave that at the end um, but I say it depends on the question all right but for now I'm just going to do the appropriations then I'm going to add the undistributed surplus at the end right so let's transfers and distribution so we have two sets 20 percent of the surplus made for the year is going to go to the statutory reserve fund and 10% of the education fund. So let's get those two things going. So 20% of 21,000 is 4,200, 10% is 2,100. And then dividends were to be paid on member shares at a rate of 5% of their investment. So remember their investment was the amount of money they invested. So 1,650 students invested $100 each, 10 shares at a cost of $10 per share. So you're gonna find 5% of 165,000, right? And you see the working here, 5%, of 1650, that's the number of students, multiplied by 10 shares, multiplied by the price per share. So the total transfers and distributions are 14,550, leaving us with undistributed surplus of the current year of 6450, to which we will add the undistributed surplus brought forward of 7450, and we're gonna be left with 13,900 as the undistributed surplus carried forward to the following year. Okay, let's take a look at the next part of the question. Okay, so they want us to prepare a statement of financial position balance sheet using a vertical style for Delca High School Cooperative as at 31st December 2015. So as I mentioned in some other videos, CSEC has been moving away from the working capital format, which I used to use in most of my videos, but I've since started using a sort of single column approach. So I'm gonna use that format here. Well, let's go back up to the information so we can populate the balance sheet, all right? Okay, so the first thing you should do is to head up your financial statement. Please don't forget to do that. You get marks for doing that. All right, now again, balance sheet. So we're gonna start with our non-current assets of 40,000. All right, uh, I'm also seeing investments in other cooperatives. So that is usually a long-term investment, a long-term asset. So at cost, non-current assets is 40,000. Investments in other cooperatives, 183, 430. And um, we're gonna have a total, a subtotal for non-current assets. And now we're gonna put current assets going. So the inventory, interest due on investments, cash in hand, and we're gonna have a subtotal for current assets. So now we're gonna add non-current assets subtotal to the current assets subtotal, and we're gonna get total assets. From there now, let's talk about liabilities. So I'm seeing accounts payable across on this side here, 1,600. 
Um, I'm also seeing general expenses unpaid. Ooh, all right. So I think we only have those two things. Let's see. Oh, dividend payable. Whoops, right. I almost forgot that myself. Look at that. Right, so dividends were to be paid on member shares. Okay, so um, now they said to be paid, but if we, if we paid them, we would have to minus that amount from cash in hand or at bank. So if you, if you didn't count them as a liability, you would have had to subtract them from here because you would have paid them. Because remember, this balance here would be before the dividends were paid. All right. So if you didn't, if you had them as a payable, that would be fine because ultimately the net effect would be the same. You would still have subtracted them in some way, shape or form from assets. So I don't think we have any non-current liabilities. So total liabilities are the same 10,404 and our net assets would be the difference between total assets and total liabilities. All right. So that is financed by capital and reserve. So the share capital would be the 165,000 because remember we had 1,650 students who bought 10 shares at $10 each. Now we also have reserves. We have two reserves, the statutory reserve fund and the education fund. And each of these got a boost from the current appropriation account for the year. So let's take a look and see. So the statutory reserve fund, 30,000 plus 4,200 for a new subtotal, a new total of 34,002. And then the education fund was 18,002 plus 2,100. And don't forget the undistributed surplus for the year, which will give us our total of 233,400, which ties back with the net assets and our balance sheet balances. Okay, that's about it for this question. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out these cards for some other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I release videos. Check out my website for free payaway handouts. And as per usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.